this is to answer questions on the truck driving. So I'm downtown Arizona, as I just said in the early part. Um, on the truck driving video, um, I do want to say this. If you're interested in getting into it, do your research. Um, I'm going to put links in here that hopefully will help you. If you want to hit me up uh, with a message, I'll send you the links personally. Um, I researched it. You definitely want to make sure you go to a PTDI uh, train school, I mean Professional Truck Drivers Institute. Uh, they give them a, a, like an accreditation stamp. Um, the industry has a lot more mandates that are going to happen as of the beginning of next year. You will have to go to this type of school that I'm going to. My school program was an 18-week program. Ten weeks was classroom. And that was really a learning about the industry. And it also helps you prepare, excuse me, prepare for the Department of Transportation test. Most companies, what happens is even though it's only one general test to get a sort of a CDL, um, you also have to have what's known if you're going to drive a truck with air brakes, you have to air brakes. So you have to pass the general and the air brakes test to get your just standard CDL. But if you're going to drive over the road, a lot of the companies like you to have what they call endorsements. Your endorsements mean a lot. That's your hazmat, driving hazardous material. Um, what else did I take? Tanker and doubles and triples. I think I took like six or seven tests, man. So general, air brakes, hazmat, doubles, triples, combinations. I don't know. I think there was one more. I just can't remember right now. Anyway, so you take all those tests, and I passed all of them, and you have to take all those tests and get all the endorsements. A lot of the companies want you to have all the endorsements. The more endorsements you have, the more money you can make. Um, because it makes you available. What I may later decide to do is drive gasoline or a hazardous material. And the reason is because it pays a lot of money. Also, um, a lot of times that can be a local gig. Um, for now, I kind of want to travel, so I'm good with driving around the U.S. in a big truck. Um, but, yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to tell you. Um, oh, age. Somebody asked me about age, and I think I've addressed it in a video, but just so you know, a lot of companies like more mature people. Um, they're, I think the age start is like 21, 22, or 23, somewhere in there. But they like older people, and the reason they want older people is because we tend to be more stable. Um, they also like, and we tend to stay with the job. Now, there's a high turnover in the trucking industry, and it's not necessarily because of, uh, I don't like my job. The high turnover in the trucking industry is more so because people want to get the right fit. So they just go from one trucking company to another until they got the right fit. And that's why I say you have to be very realistic with this. It is a job. People, you know, some people want to be home every night. You're over the road trucker. You're not going to be home every night. Um, you have to have a different mindset. So if you're willing to travel, do some hard work, but enjoy it at the same time, I think you're going to like the industry. If you think it's just a travel, you can stop and get spoons and everything at different places, then I think you're going to have a misconception. Um, but, again, I'll put the links on here, and I hope I've answered any questions. I've gotten feedback on I have two channels, and I put the video up on both channels. So um, I have the first video on my other channel because I usually just do favorites on my other channel. Um, but I've gotten questions on both, so this will go up on both channels as well. Anyway, I hope I've answered all your questions. God bless, and good luck with whatever decision you make to do. What I will tell you is live life to its fullest because it doesn't last all that long. God bless you. This life is, uh, I remember the movie Bucket List said, life is like smoke in a keyhole, and that is very much the truth. Live it to your fullest. That's what God intended for you. Peace. Bye-bye. All right, you do. I'm in the ride. Oh, I got that damn light on. I forgot about it. Um, I'm currently, let me see if I can hold it like this. Hold it like that. Okay. Hopefully y'all can see me. Um, I've gotten some questions regarding being a female in the trucking industry. Um, people who are thinking about doing it after seeing this on the video. Um, so I'm going to tell you kind of what I went through to come to the conclusion to do this a little bit. Um, you've seen some of it in some of the other videos, if you watch some of my other videos, of some of the things that have transpired. But um, I was working for a major brokerage firm, and I was there doing, with you, I had the market storm. When everything was going good, the tech stops were, the technical stocks were going up, and um, the market was going to, making hand over fist. I was making <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money. Bonuses, I mean, the whole thing. But I didn't like my job. I absolutely hated what I did. Um... 
I mean, I was good at what I did, but I just just didn't care for it anymore. Um, then the market started to tank because the technical stocks went under and some other stuff, Enron, all that crap, and the market took a dive, which is where we're at currently in this present-day jacked-up economy. Um, with that being said, um, I began to think about other things I'd like to do. And I said five years ago, I think of five years ago when I seriously started considering it. I started researching it approximately seven years ago. Um, and when I first started researching it, I found some lady truck stops, or lady truck driver sites. Um, and I'll put those links on the right, and I'll put them at the end in the credits. And I, I went on there, and you got to read other women's stories. And it was, uh, some of it was frightening. Some of it was really good. Um, but there was a lot of women who went through a lot of stuff in order to have the industry where it's at today. I mean, to have bathrooms where you can take showers for women. Before you go to a truck stop, all the truck stop showers were for men. They weren't for the women. But now, you know, they have women restrooms and women showers and so forth. So they now understand that there's been a significant amount of women coming into the industry. Initially, a lot of the women that were coming in were probably married to truckers. Um, so that's how they got in, and so they got treated a little bit better because they were married to some man and they were tied to a man. But now you have women that are coming in who are empty nesters um, and are coming in. There are several companies out there, I won't mention some, um, that actually prefer women truck drivers. I'll send you to a site where it talks about it. Um, what the way they'll position is a little differently, but they like women truck drivers. Kind of the same philosophy as when a woman drives opposed to a man. We're just safer. We don't take the risk. We don't have that whole testosterone stuff going on. So we tend to be better drivers. We tend to be safer drivers. Um, and I and some of the industry is finding that out. Companies, well, I'll mention uh, companies like USA Express or US Express. Companies like Lay's Potato Chips. Um, you can see things about the women drivers there, and there's so many others. Um, however, some of the big boys are still getting a break in on dealing with us in this industry. And um, we've had presentations from two major companies. With, um, my actual instructor was a female instructor in the classroom that I showed you yesterday, that big shed thing. Um, the classroom that I showed you yesterday, she was a, uh, she's a female instructor, and she's driven for over 10, 15 years, something like that. So me and her, she's a year younger than me, and um, she currently drives on the weekend for night transportation. Uh, we have two female instructors out here on the yard. Um, one of them is also a third-party tester for the state of Arizona Department of Transportation. Um, and I don't know how many years she's driving, but I think she got into it with her husband. Her husband's a driver. There's another lady out here um, who also drives. Um, long story short, these women are out here, and I don't know that you would have seen that seven years ago, and now you're seeing it. Um, matter of fact, there was apparently another woman who was an African-American woman who was a, tra a, a, um, a trainer out here, and one of their satellite schools for this same school that I'm going to in um, Los Angeles. Or excuse me, not Los Angeles, Las Vegas. So she's heading that school in Vegas. Um, it's, it's a very interesting industry. It is some hard-ass work. When you get out here, the trainers, they might scream at you. They're going to do a lot of stuff to really put some stress on you. And the reason is is because you are handling a huge-ass vehicle that can weigh up to 80,000 pounds at its maximum weight. That's danger waiting to happen if you don't handle this shit correctly. Um, that's as real as I can be. I can In the morning when I wake up, I try to think what's best for me to do. But even when the morning's over, I still find that I have yet to choose. What method am I to use? I know I'm wasting time. Oh no. Oh, my future's on the line.